I've been following Depp and Heard for a long time, before Virginia, before the UK, and one thing that never ceases to amaze me is there's always a clip of Amber doing something involving a substance, and she's not sober. I've never seen this. I've searched, and I've featured so many of these. This here's her friend Rocky, and as you can tell, well, they've had a few. This person here says, February 15th, 2018, drinking wine and eating popcorn, few months before the op-ed, freeloader by her side, never went to see a doctor, drunk, claiming PTSD in 2019, no donation, guilty of malice, with a lot of the hashtags we're familiar with. Now, people might be wondering, what's the point here? What are we getting at? Well, the point is, it's one more little piece of evidence that you know who is actually the drinker. Let's see what we got. All right, so we're gonna start this for real, right? What? Altered carbon. We're doing it. We're gonna watch this full show. We're not gonna get on Instagram once. I believe you. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Oh, <laughs> it's public. So we're going to start this for real, right? What? Altered carbon. We're doing it. We're going to watch this full show. We're not going to get on Instagram once. I believe you. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. So, as you could see, well, one too many. And the thing is, this was a very, very common occurrence. So much of the footage we have in interviews, in front of crowds, hanging out. Well, there's a lot of drinking going on. How much footage of Johnny do we have where he's really drunk, can't get through his words, things like that? And how much more footage of Johnny do we have since like the 1980s out there? I'm sure clips are out there somewhere, but... For the short span, Amber was very famous. She's got a lot more clips of drinking and being intoxicated on who knows what else also. It definitely amazes me that right now, at this point in time, I could still make points like this and still have content to look at and still have things to feature and say, hey, look, we were right. This is what it is. This is what she did while blaming Johnny for being the drunk. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Johnny seems like the type who could hold his alcohol. He seems like he doesn't get very crazy, physical, things like that. Not so much. He seems to be cool like 95% of the time. And of course, got a bunch of comments. This person, not Gene Thurney, says she's a sloppy drunk, schleppy, and look at those dark marks under her eyes. You get a heart. Not surprised by this. Partners in crime. Who says what crime they committed? Well, Shadow Boxer, you're a little bit behind. This one's posted on there. It's a very nice Photoshop, actually. I don't think they missed anyone. Best thing Raquel Pennington ever did was get away from her. And this person responds with, you're so weird. Not sure why, but okay. Doesn't seem very weird to me. Sounds reasonable. And this person, shiny, pretty fancy, defends Amber. She is, of course, justice for Amber Heard. Okay. This doesn't prove anything. Oh, wow. She's not allowed to eat popcorn. Delete, please, bestie. No one's saying this proves any one definitive thing. What it proves is, when people say Amber Heard drinks too much, it proves we've got a lot of evidence towards that. It's now March 2023, and I'm still finding new clips. So how many are there? So if there's this many clips of her getting intoxicated, how many times did she do it in real life, actually? I mean, the clips of her being intoxicated are just a small, tiny, tiny, tiny portion of when she was. Because you have much more experience in real life than you actually film. So it doesn't prove one thing in one shot, but it sure adds to the pile. This person says she's a gold digger. I'll admit that's unrelated, but all right, fair enough. Shadow Boxer says prove it. 
And Dr. Fred says it was proven on television for the world to see, which is pretty fair. Shout out to Laura B. She sent me this. Thank you so much, Laura. Appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm on Twitter too. Trying to get the 3,000 followers. It always goes up and down, up and down. What are you going to do? That's life. If you're not subscribed here on the channel, consider it. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.